because of anthropological reasons, uh, the white race, it was called Caucasians, although that's not well defined, uh, were more aggressive than other groups of people uh, due to basically psycho aggression and ambivalence and confusion. Because I'm saying that there are differences in racial behavior. Uh, and one of them that's significant is that the white race is more aggressive than others. In other words, I am postulating a difference in behavior uh, between uh, races. The biggest and most significant evolutionary difference in the races is not skin color, is not uh, oriental eyes or anything else, is not even white skin. It's the fact that the white race also happens to be more aggressive and um, seeks to dominate all others. There is a racial distinction. It's not intelligence, not skin color, it's aggression. And the white race is more aggressive than others. The white man living in a cave, cut off from civilization, bottled up in the mountains for thousands of years. No high culture, no vegetation. Vegetation is important to alkaline the blood, to create oxygen in the brain for higher thinking. So they became diseased in their thinking, their pineal glands became calcified, lack of vegetation. The lack of vegetation is the lack of alkaline and oxygen to the brain. Therefore, they are prone to do things from the lower nature, making them devilish. Said, you motherfuckers look strange, get the fuck out. And they went to the Caucasus Mountains of Europe, thus the name Caucasian. And what happens when you put a kid up for adoption? When they get old enough, they come and find their biological parents. Didn't them motherfuckers come and find us? <laughs> come on, Mom and Dad, get on the fucking boat. You're coming with me. You're going to get a new name, you fucker. He was already defected because he had mutated. And because of his mutation in the ice, he never developed. And so when he came out of the ice, now here's the part you gotta learn. He came out of the ice. A damn savage. We built pyramids. And we did all this great stuff. This savage man rose to world power. Not only did he rose to world power, he is a minority on the planet. What part did you play when the savage that had no shoes on his feet rules the world power. So this is a moment of inflection for us to realize who the hell we are, get with the program so we can take this kind of tyrant uh, and put him in check. We gotta take him to court. The last thing that incarnated here was the souls of those, of those beings um, that had to basically learn how to, uh, who had to pay for their karmic debt for what they did to everybody. But when they incarnated, they incarnated, the vessels that they incarnated in were no longer, no longer housed melanin. You see what I'm saying? So in essence, they incarnated into melanless, melanin, melaninous bodies or bodies with no melanin. Which then, when they incarnated into these souls, into these bodies, and basically woke up and then had no melanin, they basically were savage. When we look at... Caucasian people, what we're looking at is an antimatter version of ourselves. We're looking at the version of ourselves without the properties of creation that created us. White people like myself I look at themselves in what I consider to be an objective biological mirror. <laughs> Something we have not done because we've written a lot of history, mythologized a lot of history, and have seen it in terms of our own self-image, uh, not the way other people see us. I said, okay, now what causes all this bad hatred, you know what I mean? I don't understand it. So I devoted my life to trying to understand it 
in the sense of, of not just saying, well, it exists, but what causes it? What ca does it have a scientific cause, an objective, factual cause? And uh, I think it's been in the last eight years or so, um, very much supported by the uh, anthropology that's come out of, of uh, the Caucasus. So, but back then, those things hadn't been discovered yet. So, I took it as far back as a group of uh, people called Neanderthals, and that's why uh, there's no doubt that a partial answer is one ancestor of the white race are Neanderthals, and there's no doubt that the Neanderthals are more uh, aggressive than anybody else because there's almost twice as many violence caused injuries in Neanderthal bones than any other group of fossil human beings. Uh, Neanderthals had a, a great deal of difference between the sexes. Um, there was a great deal of it. And I tend to think that they looked at each other, the sexes thereof, uh, as being different species. And this got carried over into regarding any other kind of human being as a different species as well. And that was the basis of the aggression, is psychosexual gender aggression transferred to other, other people.